This is code.org. I'm working on CS principles, unit 5, building apps, lesson 15, processing arrays, puzzle 4. Print an array with a for loop. Ah, that makes sense. As you know, we can use variables as indexes in an array. Right, so as we iterate through them, we can take advantage of this fact to create a for loop which visits every index in an array. For i, as long as our, our variable i is less than the length of our list, add 1 to i as we go through. Interesting. In this for loop, the i eventually gets set to every possible index in the array it would. You're going to use a loop of this kind to display all values in an array. Starter code is provided that adds several random values to an array. Uh, yes, it does. So, uh, append item, we're appending this to my array, whatever random number this is. Create a for loop that uses the syntax shown below and above to iterate through every index in an array. Okay. So, boom. Add that here. I'll switch to blocks. And then we want to iterate through all of this. So, we're going to just like this. And we want to get the array's length because that's how far, well, we're going to go. And the reason this works is array.length is going to give us, remember, one more than the index, right? Because index starts at zero. We're still starting at zero, and we're going to go until i is equal to the array's length. So that would mean i is one less. So if our array has 10 things in it, when i is 9, it will run the code one more time, then add 1 to i and say, nope, I'm 10 now, and drop below and be done with the loop. That works, though, because if it runs till 9, well, we started at 0. So 0, uh, zero plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it would run through the stuff 10 times. Okay, and then... my array and we're using i uh for to get the index of the array but uh cool so this is a super handy thing to do and you're gonna be doing it a lot honestly all right let's uh keep going